Yo, what's good with y'all? Today's video, I wanted to uh, show you guys how to make an overhead GUI with Team Rank. I think it's like one of the third. This is the third video I've done and stuff. Uh, the reason I'm making this a video is because somebody requested this. So shout out to them. They suggested it in my Discord server. If y'all want to join the Discord server, link is in the description as well as my Robux group. But yeah, though. Um, what's the name? I want to thank y'all for all the love and support y'all been showing, cause. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be going crazy for it. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be going crazy. Like, I'll be like, yeah, I just hit this amount of subscribers. Then I just got this amount, like, a few days later type shit. And it's like, I fuck with y'all. I appreciate it. But, um, anyway, let's get straight into the video. All right. So, um, in replicated storage, you want to make sure you have your rank tag. Or you can keep it in server storage. Up to you. But just make sure you change the script to match what, wherever it's located. Right? So, simply, um, if you haven't watched my other two videos on, on rank tags, pretty much all you got to do Head on over to, to uh, wherever you're storing it and insert a billboard GUI, right? You can rename it rank tag, right? In this video, in, now in this case for the video, right? I'm showing y'all how to make how to make more or less a team tag rather than a rank tag. This is more like a team tag, I guess. This is probably a better way to put it. But yeah, so I'm gonna rename it to team tag. And then uh, once you make your billboard GUI, here are like here's how I set it up I would recommend setting it up exactly how I set it up like you could change the of course you can change the color and font of like the text and stuff that doesn't matter but like I'm talking like these two yeah no just like leave everything like there like the same and then I just have a text label inside and then the text text label is empty and then yeah y'all could change whatever whatever you want with that and stuff like that but yeah and it's that simple Let's head on over to server script service and insert a server script. Call this, I guess, team rank script. Now, I have a video at the end of this video if you guys want to see like how to, of course, you leave around the world. Um, if you guys want to see how to uh, set up teams and how that works and stuff. So for this video, I'm simply just going to have it to where it's just like, um, it simply just checks what team you're on and then it, uh, what's it called? And then and then it changes based on that pretty much. So I'm gonna have two teams. I'm gonna insert a team, call this, uh, I guess I'll just call this red team. Or, um, oh, actually, yeah, 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 RDC. Yeah, 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 RDC, right? If you know who I'm talking about, yeah, then, then you get it type shit. Anyway, RDC, and then AMP. Make this yellow. Uh, and then I'm gonna make sure they're both not, or no, I make RDC auto assignable and then AMP not auto assignable. All right, so I got my teams right. Pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do game dot players dot player added colon connect function in parentheses put PLR which is short for the player that's joined and press enter. Then I'm pretty sure whenever teams change, you can make that into its own function. So I'm gonna do player dot team dot changed calling connect function and close parentheses and then pretty much um whenever the player's team changes um go ahead and assign the uh, team tag and stuff so do uh player actually hold on first i need to actually make the team tag actually like already a thing okay so when the player first joins uh i'm going to be auto assigned to the amp I mean to the RDC team, right? So I'm gonna automatically create the text of the team, whatever, the team billboard thing. And I'm gonna have it so it goes like it's parents to that. You know, I don't, I don't even understand what the fuck I'm saying right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, press enter twice. I'm make a variable, local team tag, and I'm gonna get it from replicated storage. So again, replicated storage, call it wait for child. By the way, I should probably do wait for child rather than like dot and then whatever it is you're trying to get because like it depends how much stuff you have in there but if obviously you're making like an actual like a big game and stuff and you have a whole bunch of stuff in there it's probably best to do wait for child but yeah so i'm gonna get the team tag and then i'm going to clone the team tag so local team tag clone is equal to team tag clone then team tag clone dot parent gonna plant gonna parent it to the character so player dot character dot head but obviously i should also wait for the character so player dot character added colon connect function parentheses character and then let me go down here then put end right there then let me space that out yeah I'll space that out 
So pretty much, uh, what's it called? So pretty much, yeah. When a character is added, it will then do this, and then of course change the text to to uh, what's it called? Let me say label dot text is equal to player dot team, and yeah, that simple. Oh, sorry, team dot name. Sorry, sorry, team dot name. And then right here, um, honestly, all you're really doing is you're just doing uh. Mm, you want to use an if statement, right? So let's say if player, if mm, no, if player dot character find first. No, sorry. If player dot character dot head find this one out of it, by the way, find first child team tag. Then yeah if, okay so if it does find a team tag then i'll just change the text so player dot character dot head dot team tag dot uh, what is it label dot text is equal to player dot team dot name and then use an else and then pretty much you could literally just copy you could just copy this i just put this there so pretty much the way I have it set up is when the player joins, it'll uh, automatically it'll assign them a team tag. It'll give them a team tag and change the text to match the player's team name. And then if they do change team mid game, it'll automatically update it. So long as it's already one existing. If it's not one existing, it'll create one and then update it. So pretty much the same thing. So if we go ahead and test this out, I'm on the oh I was like what the fuck anyway. So yeah, I'm on the RDC team. As you guys can see right there, it is above my head. Now if I switch teams, now just to like clarify, this is a server script and server script servers, which means if I try to switch teams on the client side, this will not work. So I have to click current and make sure it's on server, then switch my team. So if I switch my team to let's see, team to AMP, it should switch it. Well, I switched. That's weird. Oh, so I guess it's not. Mm, okay. All right then. Okay. So what I'll just do is I'll just do player dot changed. Okay. Player dot changed. Okay. Because I do know if the if any properties of the player change itself. Index now was head. If player. Index now. Oh. Uh... Let me do this as well. Gain workspace, wait for child, player dot name. Okay. Now, okay, now everything should be good. I don't know why it loads like that, but let me go now and then let me change my team real quick. Team the AMP. There we go. Okay, now, now it updated AMP. There you go. All right. So yeah, it's pretty simple and stuff. Hope this video was helpful uh, to the person who requested it. Shout out to them for requesting it and stuff. I appreciate all the love and support you've been showing me in my videos and stuff. Uh, as always, the script will be in the description if you guys need it. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys.